Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing a Saturday series project, which is where I take a stamp set from the annual catalogue and I create three cards. Um, no idea how they're going to go because I haven't got them planned, but we work our way through it. I am using the Shaded Summer Cling stamp set today. This is a gorgeous stamp set. I've used it a couple of times already because it's brand new from the um, new catalogue. It's not a rolled over stamp set. This is this is new. I've used it a couple of times and I really love these floral images. They are so pretty. So to get started, I have got three card bases ready. They're in basic white. I've cut the A4 piece in half. I've scored it in half and that's ready to go. I've also got some sheets of Whisper White cardstock that are 10.5 centimetres by 14.85 centimetres. So they're actually the exact same size as the card and will fit on there. So I can either trim it down to put a layer behind or use as is. Um, but that's as prepared as I am for this. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Um, I want to use this one first, I think. And I'm going to use it with Pool Party. Because um, obviously you get lots of uh, blue floral images, but... Uh, I've been quite looking forward to using it with sort of a bright um, pastel colour and pool party, I think, is great for that. Um, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do, let me get my, my card base ready, is that I'm going to put one about there, one about there, and I'm going to put a sentiment in the middle. So let me work out what punch I want to use first. Um, I think I want to use my fancy label punch. So I probably should have worked out what sentiment I was going to use. Some friendships are meant to be. That looks a nice one. Um, or oh, hello you. Hello you is very small in there. Hmm, I'm going to use hello, hello you. So I've got some scrap basic white here. Let's get that put on a block. It's going to be a bit lost on that punch. I was looking forward to using that punch. I might use it again in a minute. Um, but that was a very small, small sentiment I felt for that punch. Uh, yeah, I think the postage label punch is going to be better for that. So let's just, it does fit in there. So let's get that stamped up. Hello you. Oh, didn't do that very straight, did I? Didn't do that very well either. Um, didn't get a very good imprint on that. So let's try again. Joe, I've got a feeling that um, <laughs> that my I haven't stuck the sticker onto that stamp very straight. Um. I think that might be it might be a healthy error i don't think my uh my sticker's 100 percent straight because that was well out so i'm thinking that i'm going to put that sort of um there and i'm going to have this coming out the top of it tuck my sleeves up i'm going to get into a right mess if not and i think i want that about there so let's just do that so that oh isn't that lovely 
And I think I do want the second one on, even though I think it looks lovely just as one, actually. So let's uh, move that. do quite like that oh I do I do I do it's pretty right I'm just thinking actually um we've got this little sprig here so we can add some more sort of uh little little offshoots to the side so um not massive but I can just pop a couple so that we have some we're not all on their own Well, there we go. How pretty is that? Love it. Okay, I've got my um my little brush, the blending brush, and I'm going to start in the middle where I know that the sentiment's going to be, so that the dark bit goes there, and I'm just going to work my way out. Okay, so keep adding more ink. And then just keep going out. So you can just start to see it coming out from underneath the label. Keep going. You just want to go around where the label is going to be building that colour up. You don't want it massive, you just want to, you know. A shading, so I think I just need a bit more shading at the top corner there and then I'm done. There we are, definite shading at the top corner there now. Right. That will sit like that on top of there. So I think I just want some ribbon now and I've got the Pool Party Shimmer ribbon from the catalog, so that's this one. It's really quite glitzy and glamoury, I think, this one. So I'm just gonna pop some adhesive. Um, oh, yes, this is fun. I've done this a few times and it's always presents a laugh. There we go, um, yeah. It doesn't actually stick adhesive. <laughs> I've done this on so many videos that you must be sitting there watching now going, how's he? We know it's not going to stick. Um, the blending brush makes the paper so smooth that you really struggle to get the adhesive to stick to it. So I just used a glue dot, um, probably your best way. I did try on one of my other videos to use sticky strip and I couldn't even get that to stick. Um, so it just, it's just got nothing to stick to. It just makes the paper so smooth, um, which is great for crafting because it feels lovely when you're finished, but it is just a little bit of a nightmare when you want to actually put some adhesive on. So I'm just going to pop a couple of these on the back of my punched image. Pop that on there. I really, really like that. Um, just burnish that and stick that on there. I don't even think there's a need to put a bow on it. I just like having a little bit of the ribbon around it. So I think I might even not bother with a bow, which is unusual for me. If I've used ribbon, it normally ends up in a little faux bow. Not today. I've just stuck that flat onto the card. Um, but I will put some of the opal rounds on it. So let me just grab a couple of these off. Um, I'm going to grab some of these smaller ones from over on this side. One, two, and 
three just to give it a bit of uh, bit of glitz and you know what else i might run um i might run some weaker stella over this actually to give it some more just in the petals there just to really make that sparkle so i'm just doing it on the flower i'm not going to do it on the leaves or anything but i am going to do it in those bigger petals and that really glitters now so there's card number one card number two okay let's get thinking on this one so let's bring this up over um okay let's use this big one let's put this on a big block and i'm just going to grab my piece of scrap some scissors let's just cut this off so that i'm not getting distracted by the bits we've already done and this time i'm going to play with what color do i want to play with um i'm gonna go with gray granite i'm just gonna ink this up stamp it on the scrap Oh, I love that. And I'm going to come back and use the punch that I wanted to use earlier. Um, and I'm going to punch it out. On the punch like that yes okay so for this one I'm going to want that little sprig again that I had let me just give that a little little clean grey granite again This is going to go down there, so I'm just going to pop a few sprigs. Like that. Oh, I like that. I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to grab my blending brushes again. My gosh, blending again, you say? Yes, I am. I'm just going to blend the grey granite out. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's messy in the middle because that's what's going to be covered over by your, um, by your label. But just spread that out over the sprigs. like that so that when you come and put that over you've got a nice sort of shadow behind it now like that and sentiment wise um, so I want to go with hello you again because I've already got it out lazy I know um, but I'm just going to do it again. Clean it off. Hello you. I really should have remembered that I hadn't stuck that on the uh, stamp set too straight. So I'm regretting very much doing that. Because it's not straight. Okay, let's go again. My bad. Oh, 
I'm not going to put the shading on it this time, actually. I think I prefer it without. But um, I'm going to grab a different... I'm going to hope that I've managed to line thank you up properly. So let's sort of put that there. Yes, I've lined that one up right. There we go. And a couple of the opal rounds again. So there's two cards the third one um okay the third one i'm going to be going with so saffron we all know it's my favorite color so this was going to happen eventually let's go with the with that haven't really decided which one of these floral images I want to use. Um, so let me grab my piece of paper. I think I've decided this one to start off with. Let's use that. Let's just pop that on there. Doesn't matter that these are overlapping because I'm going to put a panel on top with that one on. So these are just going to be background images and I think that works pretty right. So I'm going to take my another one of my card toppers and I'm going to cut that one down so that it's at um, eight and a half centimetres. So I'm going to take two centimetres off and I'm also going to chop it down so it's 12.8 centimetres, again two centimetres off. And that will sit on there like that yeah that's much better there we go so let's um on some dimensionals I wasn't liking this as the frame I was doing so I, that's why I decided to just use it as a, a background piece instead it's never wasted you can always make something out of it so sort of a frame at the back is quite nice and I think my sentiment's going to go on Yeah, it's going to go on that one. Just let me find a sentiment. Uh, love you, friend, maybe? Or happy birthday? Does that fit on there? Not really. Love you, friend. Some 
more dimensionals. Getting to the end of several sheets of dimensionals here, so I'm using them all up. There we go. Let's pop that. Where's my seal? Pop that onto my card base. And then I'm going to use some of our gilded gems instead this time. And we're going to put one on that end. And one on that end, like that. Okay, so there we go. My three cards. That one's my favourite. What about you? Which one's yours? Let me know and I'll see you all soon. Everything I have used is available to purchase from slimandstylish.stampinup.net. Sorry I didn't really talk through the last card either. I could really picture me not liking it, so I was trying to sort it out. I do like it now I've got the panel on it, but it was hit and miss. Um, but yeah, that one. That one's my winner. Thanks everybody for joining me. Have a lovely week and I will see you soon. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.